Okay, so we're doing an unboxing. I just tried to uh, film this with one hand. Uh, I did my open the package with my artisan cutlery sea snake designed by Mike Immler. And I accidentally pressed the button and stopped the recording. So, we're going to try this again. I'm at the grocery store, coffee shop, deli. And, uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Knife like, ooh, I like that. Got some swag there. Oh, come on, what a pain in the butt this is trying to do this with one hand. I left my tripod. Uh, forgot to bring my tripod with me, so let's see what we got here. Okay, this is my tool. I know what they are. This is my uh, my knife pouch, basically. And I think I'll start with the I'll start with the tool first. in the butt trying to do this with one hand. My hands are filthy because I've been picking up recyclables. Somebody left like two cases of beer cans and I couldn't just leave them there so I picked them up. They were covered in mud. So this is the CRKT, or excuse me, the uh, Kershaw uh, knife tool. And basically, of course, you probably use any bit you wanted that would fit in there. You screw that off, and you have uh, various uh, bits that uh, for your knife. Which I need because I've got my Kershaw hot wire needs to be cleaned bad. And, ooh, you got a $12 knife, you bet. And that $12 knife uh, hasn't been sharpened. <clears throat> it's still razor sharp as it was when I got it out of the clamshell package a year and a half ago. Needs an occasional strop, that's it. So make fun of inferior steels all you want to. My, all my inferior steels are still razor sharp, including that sea snake there. And that's not inferior, that's uh, a budget steel, that new artisan cutlery powder. Uh, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it's their equivalent to D2, I think. Uh, so there's that. I'll redo that later. And um, this is the... This is nuts. 
gotta be kidding me. It's not supposed to be the same thing. Okay, so Fox Edge is the budget brand of Fox Knives. And they have I bought this. I absolutely love this, the looks of this knife. This is a G10. Designed by Jens Enzo. Backspacer. So it's pretty well centered. Well, I'm not good at flipping. Okay, let's try this again. Nope. Okay, I have to give it. I'm not good at flipping. I don't have a lot of dexterity in my fingers. Love this blade shape. This is really nice and light. That's very light. Very comfortable. My, um... CRKT Rikiri has aluminum scales and oh man they are so they're the ergos are good it's just really the aluminum makes it uncomfortable that's got a little oil on it I can see that oil very nice little my of course my background is dark so it's hard to get a good good look at the knife with that black and your hole. I like the um, like that milling in the candle. I like the uh, it's really comfortable. That is a nice light. I've got small hands. That is nice and light. I have really bad neuropathy because of cancer and the lymph nodes and it pinches the nerves, cuts off circulation. That's going to be a really nice, easy knife to use, easy knife to carry, light in the pocket. I'll be able to carry that in the pocket really easy. Oh, that's, ooh, that action is nice. The flipper tab gets in the way. That's why it's not flipping for me. No, I can't flip it. Can't do it. But I've never been able to flip it. Oh well. See, even when I put some wrist action into it, that back tab hits my finger, so. How's the clock? Get some light in there. Can't see, it's too dark. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so we got that. That's CRKT. This is the Blade HQ exclusive. Uh, CRKT's got oil on it. Ooh, I like this. This is really smooth. This does not feel like micarta. With it look, it looks like it should feel texture, but it doesn't. It's as smooth as my, the aluminum scales on my CRKT Rikiri. I like that gold, that uh, bronze. It's not probably solid bronze backspacer, but I like that. I can't spidey flick anything, so. Oh, I'm doing it. That's my first one-handed thumb opening ever. Ooh, I like this. It's nice and light. 
This, of course, you all know, is designed by Jesper Voxnaeus. It's green micarta. It looks like it should have some texture, but it doesn't. It's as smooth as this countertop. In fact, they feel exactly the same. I like this. This is uh, micarta with, G2, with D2. It's the Blade HQ exclusive on sale for 34 bucks. It's actually cheaper than the regular Pilar, if I remember correctly. It's three dollars cheaper than the regular Pilar that has the stainless handles and uh, I don't remember what that blade was, but it was a D2. Let's see. That's. I would say 30% lockup. I like it. It's nice and light, very comfortable. I like that finger choil. Yep, this is going to be a lot of fun. Do some tip work. I really like this. I really like these. These are my size knives. Unlike my Rikiri. My Rikiri, I love it. It's a beast. It cuts like you wouldn't believe. But man, is it a chunk. It's a fat daddy. So we got this. The tool. And I really like this bag. I like the handle. HQ. I'm going to put some Velcro over that and then put my own patches there. Let's have a look. Well, come on. Well, the buckles are tight, that's for sure. Set this down. Buckle this. Those are nice and tight and I don't care they're not going to go anywhere. Just one more. Boy, ain't that the truth. That pretty much sums it up. Oh, this is nice. It's got grommets. Nice sturdy grommets so you can hang it up. off right. And you can see trying to do this one hand of this. things for sure your knives aren't going to fall out because that canvas and that lip right there they're not going to fall out of that. This, I don't have a roll for the, this can go up here. No, I don't have my Rikiri with me. I'm going to go ahead and throw my spew and my sea snake in there, too, because, hey, I can. No rules. These are small enough. Well, no, I guess they won't bend. So that's not going to work. I guess for smaller, smaller neck knives would probably fit, but with the with the shoes on them, even without the shoes, I don't guess they would fit. This one would fit without the shoes, I think. Maybe not. But I like this. I really, really like this. 
So that's my Blade HQ haul. Hope everybody liked the video. I'm sorry it, it was had to be done with my phone, but uh, I forgot to bring my uh, tripod for my phone. I'm sorry for all the background noise, but I stopped at the post office, got this, took the bus out to the store, got a cup of coffee. So I normally boycott these people, but I needed coffee and I needed it now, so enjoy. Have a good day, Knife Community.